Welcome to the third practical on cloud management. In this practical, we'll be looking at creating of VHDs and integrating those VHDs with our virtual machine and deploying that virtual machine to a cloud. Uh, for us to create a VHD file, you need to go into your computer management. If I go to tools and computer management, computer management has an option about disk management where I'll be able to see my different types of disks over here. If I click on disk management, disk manager will show me the currently available disks on my machine. To create a VHD file, you need to right click on disk management go into create vhd here i can give the vhd format and the type as well as the sizing and the location let's say i'm going to be keeping this on my desktop and the vhd file is cm lab vhd and save it and let's say i'll give the size as 1 through 2 for mb that is 1 gb the virtual hard disk format is VHD and I'm keeping it dynamically expanding. Let's I'll keep this as 2048 and that is 2 gigs. Let's say 3 gigs. Okay. Virtual hard disk format is VHD. It is being saved on my desktop. The VHD file size is 3 gigs and it is a dynamically expanding type of disk. I'll click on OK. And if you can see right now, it is showing me the disk 1 as 3 GB and not initialized. I will now dismount or detach this VHD from here and I'll click on OK. After this, after I've detached the VHD file, if I go on to my desktop, I can see that this VHD file is visible over here. And currently, since it is dynamically allocated, the VHD file is currently 12 KB. I had similarly created a previous VHD file that is 1 GB when before I was doing this testing. So now when I want to add add the VHD file to my VMM library, I need to go on to a libraries tabs. Inside library time, I'll come back to library servers. I'll expand it and I'll come to the VHD folder. If you've seen VHD folder, VHD folder has already previously pre created type of uh, disks, blank disks which are either large or small of type VHD or VHDX. I need to import my physical resource, or I need to import the pre -create, the uh, created VHD file into this. So I'll click on import physical resource. You will see on top I need to specify the resource. I'll click on add resource and I'll browse for my uh, VHD file. Let's see. I'll browse for the VHD file, select the VHD file and I'll click on OK. And you can see that the VHD file is now showing us on top. Next I need to specify the library server and destination. I'll go browse. I'm currently having the library server on my current machine and I want to save this as my in my VHD folder. If I click on view script, it will give me information about the PowerShell script that will be running in the background. I'll just click on import. And when I click on import, it will start importing the VHD file. And the VHD file will then be displayed over here. In order for me, now I need to create my VM template, which will be then deployed to my, to my private cloud. If I want to create a VM template using any of these VHDs, I need to first make sure that that VHD is selected over here and then I'll click on create VM template. I will give it a name as VHD deploy. I'll click on next. I will enable the Hyper-V profile. A RAM I will dedicate as 128 and if you see right now in the ID device configuration, the image which I had created is now selected as my primary hard drive over here and because I specified this as 3 GB my entire uh, OS or my virtual machine can go up to a 3 GB hard drive size next and I'll configure the operating system 
it should be in, uh, because my profile is none so no customization will be required and then finally I'll click on create so if I go right now into VM templates I'm currently having my VHD deploy template over here then what I'll do I'll open my Internet Explorer and I will browse to my app controller site I will same thing I will log in get my credentials I will go to virtual machine I will select deploy I will select my cloud to deploy upon I will select a template that is my VHD deploy virtual machine I need to then configure different property like um, demo VM VHD as the name let's scroll down is there anything else down no I'll click on ok all of the configuration have been done right now and I can click on deploy and deploy the virtual machine if I go to the jobs I'll be able to see the different process I can see that the create virtual machine is now in process And my virtual machine has been created if I go into virtual machine my current virtual machine is running I can it is currently shut down if I want I can click on the start option start the virtual machine and the virtual machine will then run using the VHD which I created manually if you do like this video please go on and give a like or leave some comments below thanks